In this video, we will see how to do iron blue toning of a silver gelatin print. This toning method can give colors from strikingly bright blue to intense slate gray or navy blue. We will see how to do the toning, but also why and what kind of images can benefit from a blue tonality. Let's start by seeing how blue toning is done in the darkroom, first preparing the toning solution. This is the formula for a direct toner where only one toning bath is needed. To make half liter of toner, which is good for several 8x10 prints, I started with about 300 milliliters of warm water and then added 4 grams of ferric ammonium citrate. This green compound is at the heart of the toning process, providing the iron for the blue pigment Prussian blue that deposits onto the print. I then added 4 grams of potassium ferricyanide, which reacts with the silver grains and favors the deposition of the blue pigment onto the paper. The solution should be acidified by adding 130 grams of a 28% acetic acid solution, or 35 grams of pure acetic acid, but the pure acid is quite more dangerous to handle. The final step is to add the remaining water to make the half liter solution. This is the final toning bath that has a deep green color. So let's see now what is the tray setup that I like to have pretty much for any type of toning. I have a first tray with the prints to be toned, which are already washed and soaked in water. Then in a sink, I place the toning bath. This is a plastic board that I use to quickly wash off the prints. And finally on the side, some washing trays to collect the toned images. Let's see how silver prints get toned, starting from this brightly lit poem scene. The print begins to take the blue color just after 10 seconds or so, and the full color is developed in about one to two minutes. When I think that the print reaches a good color after a minute or so, I pull it from the toning bath and rinse it to better check the color. In this case, I was happy with it, so I transferred the print to the washing trays. If we compare the scan of this print before and after toning, we can have a better idea of the color change. The blue toning enhanced the bright appearance of the sunny scene. Another thing very important to notice is that blue toning intensifies the print. That is that the dark areas of the image get even darker. This has to be taken into account by starting with a print lighter than usual. Ok, so back to the toning, we have now a snow scene, which also looks great when blue toned. In this case, I went for a shorter toning time of about 30 seconds. This partial toning time has some character of split toning, where the darker part of the image, like the top of the sky or the shadows, take on a deeper blue cast than the lighter parts of the image. I think this partial toning looks great for this type of image, enhancing the mood. This third example of toning that we will see is this scene of a tree or a forest. I toned it for a few seconds and then quickly rinsed it. It was difficult to judge the color when the print was in the toning bath, but after rinsing it, it was clear that it needed more toning. After a little longer in the bath, the color was ok. Which one of these two images of trees do you think look better in blue? I think the open bright scene on the left looks much better than the forest scene on the right. The blue color seems a bit unnatural in this case. Moreover, notice how different papers react differently to the toner and can give different colors. And what about images containing water? I think they look ok in blue, even if personally the tonality reminds me more of a bright sky than of a blue sea or a lake. Another way to alter the color of the prints is to wash them for extended time or to wash them in 0.1% borax. This will give more of a blue-grey color to the images. I want to conclude this video with a comparison of blue toning done for different times, from 0 to 2 minutes. The full toning gives a deep electric blue 
It could look garish with some natural subject, but stunning with the right kind of subject. Metallic objects like these kayaks or this bridge are definitely a great subject for blue toning. Take care and happy toning! Like and subscribe if you enjoy this free content. As a final note, I need to mention that some people fear that blue tone prints are less durable or less archival than the original silver prints. I don't think this is the case. In fact, the blue color comes from the pigment Prussian blue or ferric ferricyanide, which deposits onto the paper. Prussian blue is a very stable compound, which is also at the basis of the cyanotype photographic technique. We have several cyanotypes that date back to more than 150 years ago and still are perfectly conserved. So I think that blue toning is safe and may not decrease the longevity of analog silver prints.